With trails like Murphy Ranch and Solstice Canyon, LA trails can take you to some very unique places. But if you're looking for a real adventure, then look no further than the Cave of Munitz. V and I had both done this trail before, but our good friend and fellow adventurer Natasha had not. So we couldn't wait to share this with her. The trail starts off like an easy stroll in the park, but don't be fooled, there is adventure coming. After about half a mile of hiking through some really pretty scenery, you'll come to what I can best describe as a traffic circle. You're going to make a right and head up towards the mountain. This is where you will start your climb up to the cave. Shoes with really good traction are very important on this hike. The approach to the cave, climbing into the cave, and then the scramble up the hillside to Castle Rock are all very slippery at times. Here you will find yourself at the opening to the Cave of Munitz. There is a pretty solid little rock climb to get into the cave, but luckily all three of us have a lot of rock climbing experience, so it wasn't too tricky. If you decide to do this hike, please be respectful. There is a lot of graffiti in the cave, and this is actually a historical site to the Chumash Native American tribe. Once you're inside the cave, you actually have two options. You can down climb and head back the way you came, which actually seems trickier, or you can climb your way up to the roof of the cave, which makes its way up to the ridgeline and goes over to Castle Rock. The last climb on the roof is probably the most critical. It is partially over the cave skylight, so a fall here could result in a fall of 50 to 60 feet, which would probably not end well for you. Once you reach the top of this climb, it might be good to stop and take a quick breather, because even though some of the tricky and critical parts are behind you at this point, you are now at the scrambling section. You're going to find yourself at a ton of little trails that run up to the ridge line. Some are easier, some are harder. We took some of the harder ones this day just for fun. This portion of the hike is definitely going to test your fitness. You're going to be doing the vast majority of the 450 feet from the base of the cave to the top right here. We recommend doing this hike in cooler months. The first time we did it was more in the summertime and not only did we see a rattlesnake, but the scramble to the top can be pretty uncomfortable. After what seemed like a small eternity of climbing and clawing our way towards the top, we finally reached the ridge. Now it was time to get on our way over to Castle Rock. <laughs> Luckily for us, both times we visited, we came on very clear days, and you can see for miles around from the ridge line. It's a really beautiful view. After all of the climbing that you've done so far, all the climbs on the ridge are pretty easy, but don't let it get to your head. We saw one hiker get a little bit too comfortable and go down hard on a rock. Before you know it, you'll start to see Castle Rock appearing off to the right. After one last uphill push, you will be happy to know that you are done with major elevation gains for the day. After all of the climbing that you've just done, the downhills feel wonderful. But do be careful, these hills are very steep and there is a lot of rocks and loose topsoil that can send you shooting down the hill if you're not watching your step. We did this hike after some recent rain, so the moisture in the dirt was definitely not helping us get more traction on our way down the hill. Yeah. 
if you are allergic to bees, they are known to frequent this area. So please bring your medication with you just in case you happen to get stung. This is definitely high on my list of favorite Southern California hikes. Its beauty and level of adventure give it a spot really near and dear to my heart. If you enjoy our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at LiveThatAdventureLife. And for all the information about this hike, check us out at ThatAdventureLife.com.